Dave Barry here alongside Adam Gorney, National Recruiting Director. And Adam, with the release of the updated rankings for the class of 2025, we have 24 five-stars. Two of them are new five-stars, two safeties. Tell me about, on the defensive side, about uh, Trey McNutt and Hilton Stubbs and why they are five-stars. Yeah, five-stars are, I mean, safety is not a position, really, that get a lot of five-stars, especially because... In the NFL draft, it's not really a position that goes in the first round a lot. There's not a, a ton of position value there. But but sometimes you have to buck the trend and just look at the players who are the best that project the best into college and the NFL and make them five stars. And we felt that way about McNutt and Stubbs after seeing them multiple times this offseason. Stubbs was phenomenal at the Rivals five star. Even when a receiver caught the ball on him, he was always around it. He was always battling. And with his length and athleticism to cover ground, it's it's pretty extraordinary. McNutt is very similar, and we actually give him the edge. He just really trusts his eyes. He has phenomenal instincts. And then that length to make plays on the ball really just stand out so much. So in a college game where you're looking to kind of cover sideline to sideline, to make sure that receivers aren't breaking behind safeties and making big plays, these are the guys that can kind of sit in center field and do that for you. But they're not the only ones. I mean, Amarian Robinson, the Oklahoma commit, um, is not as physically impressive as these guys, but he might have been the best safety overall at the Rivals Five Star. In insanely instinctual kid that made so many interceptions and pass deflections um, at that event and at others. So it's a pretty loaded group. If those are the top three, and then you're talking about guys like Tay Harris, the Clemson commit, who put up phenomenal numbers, first round level. NFL draft numbers um, running the 40 this offseason. So while safety might not be a position that goes high in the, in the first round of the NFL draft every single year, we think down the road this class is going to be one of those that has two, three, maybe four guys in the first round. All right. It'll be interesting to see. You can check out plenty of content. We're going to have content all week surrounding this update here on Rivals.com. Gorney, thank you. Okay, Dave.